Hello everyone, welcome back to The Darkest Dungeon. James is still here. Hello. Uh, hello. Um, I was not really paying attention. I went and upgraded Psycho. And Ash. I just gave Ash the extra dazzling light level. Uh, and Jekri has been completely upgraded. But other, one, other than that, I didn't really do anything, so you haven't missed anything. No. Uh, everyone's in for stress relief who needs to be, which is Tim2. And me, isn't it? On my back. Is, uh, you've got some stress, but it's less than half, so okay. I think if we take you on an easy enough mission, I could just dismiss you. If we take you on an easy enough oh. mission, then you'll be stressed out enough at the end of it, so it'll be worth it. I see. We should take the occultist out at some point as well, because I like playing with the occultist. But that's not today. Today what? we're going on the Warren's mission. What do the occultists do? They've got, um, like them? They've got some... I'll, I'll right click and I'll show you. We have our Bissell Artillery, which does a gross type tentacles damage to the last two units. Hmm. Plus 15 damage versus Eldritch. That's a buff. So it buffs us against Eldritch. That would have been helpful against that. I would have been helpful Shambler against thing. that Shambler thing. Yeah. Uh, a Weakening Curse, which is obviously what it says. It does a it reduces the damage of the target. This weird reconstruction is probably one of my favourite uh, things where you can heal 0 to 12. Wow, it's quite a lot. And it can cause bleed. It's got a 59% <laughs> bleed. So basically you've stitched someone together and it may or may not have worked. But when it crits, it crits really well. You can do 12 HP and then a 3 point bleed. So yeah. 9 all, you can resist the bleed, which is even better. And the vulnerability hex is just a mark, but of course it, it does do some negative dodge damage. And then there's a couple more hands from the abyss. There's a stun, demons pull, clears corpses and moves something forward too, which is actually really useful. And this doesn't seem great, but it fucking crits when it needs to crit. So that's a very uh, <laughs> clutch skill right there. We've got a Ruins Tactician and a Cove Tactician. And uh, Blight Resist is down, but that's okay. So that is someone we will take out in future, probably mm. to the Cove or the Ruins, based, on, based yeah. on those Makes sense. Those quirks they've got. However, what we're we doing today, Warrens, we're going to win a very rare Cleansing Crystal. Uh, very resisty. Oh, it just cleans you. <laughs> it cleanses you, so you can't... Bleed or blight very well, but you don't get bled or blighted very well. Might be good on a healer. Keep him safe. Yeah. Especially since stun isn't mentioned there. Yeah. So we'll provision for this. No, we won't, because we haven't done this bit. You. Ash, you need these stuff. No, not that. This, 15% heal skills. Ash is upgraded to level 2 of all the heal skills as well as these, so that's really mm. nice. And. What did we have? There are more than one uh, heal skill thing, so it's really useful to be able to stack them up. But I guess we take the stun amulet so we don't get stunned if we can avoid it and the, the dodge. Well, maybe. It's massive dodge debuff. Yeah, but if they're staying at the back. Uh, D didn't get hit too much. No. So hopefully Ash won't either. Jekri, you get. What do you get? Bleed skills. Didn't we have an occultist one? Yeah, there we go. Plague Doctor, that's what I want. Stun skill chance and bleed skill chance. Good. And me. I think I had a. So you have to do this every mission, they don't just hang on to their stuff. They do hang on to them, but I brought them all back because I had new people. Oh, I see. I couldn't bother going to find the ones I wanted. Ah, that. Yes. And. I dodge, and you just get protection and HP. Yeah, this one. The other one is uh, quite high protection wherever it's gone, but the actually that's really good. <laughs> really, he takes less, does less damage than. That's right. He's not really our hitter. He's really? our tank soaker. Rapper. I seem to remember him doing a lot of damage. He did do a lot of damage, which is fine because if you did fifteen percent less damage, it would still be massive overkill yeah, every single time. Uh, so I'm, I'm happy with that. I think everyone's in the right position. Well, you're in charge. I think we've learned that my input on these is <laughs> well worth ignoring. So illumination on uh, Ash here is not actually useful because Ash is at the back. But I think Jekry being able to do all of Jekry's uh, basically incision means Jekry's better in the second, uh, third position there. On this run, we will take three of these because I'm scared. We'll take just <laughs> one stack of these. And where are we going? Warrens. So that was some of these. Do you know what? I'll take... Uh, some herbs, because that can turn into six or eight food right there. Okay. Uh, 
and a bunch of torches. Won't take too many, he says. With he 12. says. Oh, well, we normally take eight, and that's too many. So, being a medium mission, then eight and a half. I, I follow your logic. You should. Uh, I don't want to actually run out. Yeah. So I'd like to have some spare. I'd rather have too many. Do you not get to camp in this one? You said something about. Do get to camp? Yeah. That's what this will do. But there better be food available at the end of it. <sighs> Hopefully, we don't get hit by two hunger pains. Basically. Right. Well, we can tank two hungers. Difficult to master. Those from beyond require a physical vessel if they are to make the crossing into our reality. The timing of the chance is imperative. Without the proper utterances at precise intervals, the process can fail spectacularly. Uh, I suspect what we're hearing here is that the process fails spectacularly for this swine print. Ah. <laughs> That's a bad place to start. It's either here or here. Must be destroyed. Nice shit. So... <laughs> right, my plan is we go to here. Camp. Yep. We go to one of the two. How do you know he's definitely in one of those? It's always in the furthest... Oh, I see. ...thingy. But they're both the same distance away. So. I forget how the swine pince runs. Like, how the, the battle plays out. I think we've got a decent enough... Just having enough healing and DPS I think should be valuable. Hmm. We can camp just beforehand and buff ourselves up and get rid of all the stress that you just caused me. I've only just got here. Can you at least... Give me like five minutes to <laughs> collect myself. A bleed. That's a good bleed and a good damn. Although you still get a go, which is. And you have less bleed resist, so you can actually stack up the bleed on this thing. I haven't really been paying attention to the debuffs I cause, I've only been sort of playing at the top level of game where you just hit things. Yeah. But like, this is now gonna die, right? Yeah, it's fucked. So that's good. You might as well stun the one that hasn't had a go. I know... The thing is, if you stun the one that's had a go, it still won't get a go. It's just it won't get a go later. Yeah. Um, and I'd like it to not have another go. But I can't hit it as a shame. So we might as well hit this, because that one's going to die to bleed, and the corpse will go away. Right. Is, uh, no, you went last. That was actually a, a charge. I think we just end this. That's good. Oh, no, no, no. You get... They're all going out of order. I was hoping hmm. that that one would go, then... Whatever. Uh, we can kill that corpse as well. We can cure your bleed. Let's do that. And if we keep on top of it, we should take a lot less uh, HP damage altogether. I think that's going to be the way I try to play this. Just to make sure that whenever we can avoid more damage and heal a bit. Yeah. We do, rather than trying to tank too much of it. Please go. Just kill it. It's not killing it, but nice try. You don't get a go? Good, good, good. And you do that. Sweet. Well, that was a nice, easy first mission. First, uh, first encounter. And we've only got a few... I mean, it's a big dungeon. We don't have to do most of it. Hmm. We'll have a look in here. Ah, a well-wended map. A well-wended map of the world ahead. Please scan this. Oh, you <laughs> well, it's still good because no, There's no battles all the way to this. So yeah. that's really good. Uh, we'll keep walking. Where are we? We're here. So we're going here. It's a battle with the Curio. So I was kind of wrong. Ah, oh, I didn't torch. Too busy paying attention to this map here. That's all right. We don't get any. Oh, that's a bit more stress. So we will torch up. Please. No. There we go. Uh. We could disorient one of them or plague both of them. I think we plague both of them. That seems like. Oh, crit for one. Brilliant. Hmm. It's four damage per round, but that's got a lot more HP than I gave it credit for. We haven't got any marking. Have you got marking? No. So, like, the plus damage on that isn't really useful. So I think we just try and bleed out one of these. This is going to be one of those where we spread out the damage, I think, because. These things need to go, and then these things need to go, so there's no real first target. Yeah. So one of them, I hope, will just fall out in the wash. Let's take you. See if we can stun that. This one moves around when it does stuff. Right. Sometimes. 
which can be good and can be bad. Yeah, you gotta go first. So that'll send it stepping backwards one. Nice. And we dodged it, which is really good. Uh, so we could stun this so that it doesn't do the drums of doom or the drums of debilitation on the next round. Mm -hmm. And then takes four points of damage, which puts it into one shot range from maybe a scatter shot. A grape shot. Where multiple hits. No disease, please. I will accept the stress to avoid the XP problems. Can you kill this? No, but it will bleed out. Yeah, it will. It will very much bleed out now, so you can have a go if you want. Okay. I'll let you off. I'm just going to keep plaguing this. Uh, no one was bleeding. No. And let's try and make this one not have a go now. Are you going to bleed out? Four damage, yes. But those are both dead. Oh, these are the two we have to care about. But they are at the front, so it makes it kind of difficult to... Reach. We have battle heal, which is not what I want. Hmm. But I will use it on myself. <laughs> just to make sure these corpses go away, because the alternative would be to hit one and cause a corpse to land. Yeah. I don't want to do that. You will get a go and die. You will get a go and die, so I have to hit you. And you will die. Okay, good. <laughs> so we'll do a party heal. We'll just keep on top of this now, because... They're all dead, they're not going to be able to hit me. Yep. Oh, I thought it was going to be three for. Fuck it. I wonder if you get XP for taking a kill. I've not actually looked into the mechanics of how XP is, is metered out. Oh, I see. So actually what I want to do is put Bulwark up. So you might not get as much if they die from... Effects. Yeah, or maybe it's spread out among the party, because they do level up at different rates. Yeah. Like, does any of these help? Ooh. 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 A quirk was removed. That's really good. Now Psycho has no quirks at all. Oh, no negative ones. Less stress damage in Cove and more heal skills while camping. That's probably not going to make too much of a difference for us here, but uh, in future that could be very good. Because mm. often you use your camping time to heal the fuck out of everybody whenever possible. Ye yes. And a bit of stress relief for doing that. Bones. Uh oh. Look. <laughs> hmm. I guess what goes around comes around. Swings and roundabouts, right? Torch. <clears throat> Torched. Also, we knew there was no. Ooh, that's very useful. Does that just randomly happen? There's a stronger chance because we have a cove explorer. Uh, ex where are we? Wheeled. We have a wheeled explorer somewhere, I think. Do we not? Oh, we don't. It just must be because of the light then, because double plus scouting. So we know we need to go this way. We also have no reason to camp. So what I think we do instead is we beat up the boss and then go explore somewhere else until we need to camp. Yeah. Get some more fat loot. There's, there's, a, ba there's a battle on the way to the boss, though. Yeah, that's fine. It should be okay, considering the battles that we've had so far. We don't even need to de-stress anybody. Now I think that the uh Ooh. I think that the swine prince does have a lot of high stress attacks. Right. It's basically those little gross things that vomit on you. Scaled up. Right. Slightly worse attacks. Well, slightly uh stronger attacks. Could have gone this way. Oh, there's a courier here. And a battle. So if we're gonna have a battle, we might as well have got something out of it. Because I've done it now. Alright, well, I don't want you to have a go. Certainly not making this unit any more stressed out than it has to be, but that's okay. Hmm. I will probably just start laying on the damage over time. Start with. That's got 15% protection. And that's got 25% protection. I didn't realise that. We don't have anything that reduces that. I think that's the Houndmaster skill, or maybe Man at Arms. I'm just going to keep opening up veins here. I would like for those two units to have had the other turns, because that adds a debuff. Uh, to bleed resist, but it didn't turn out to matter, I suppose. Let us stun. You've got 3 per round and 12 HP. I guess you did. Just because you're going to be harder to kill, I'd like to keep it not hitting me yeah, yeah, yeah. until I can get around to it. Sort of put it on the back burner for now. Ouch. That's okay. 
Oh, it's a vicious looking weapon. I've just noticed what it's holding. Yeah, it's that, a cleaver with teeth on it. That's pretty intense. Oh, we can just do this, right? That is metal as fuck. That's what that is. That is metal as fuck. Three damage per round, so that's it. Right, good. Uh, you... Just done that. Mm. Or don't. Somehow you managed to dodge a beam of light from heaven, but I'll... <laughs> I'll let it... Oh, for fuck's sake. <coughs> Excuse it, man. Look, I want to know what that does. Stop telling me stuff. Now you're back there. That's bad. Spotted fever. <laughs> Negative blight resist. Great. Well. You're going to be negative alive. <laughs> Success. This is freaking me out, this head. Yeah. Oh, it's. I've just realised its rear feet aren't even touching the floor. Yeah, no. It's, it's got uh, some weird ass shit going on there. That is a weird thing. Right, let's do that. Now you haven't got any bleed. As noted, I would like to keep on top of that. Mm -hmm. And you get a go. I know I'll zealously accuse both of you. You can't dodge an accusation. <laughs> Actually, I guess you can. That's yeah. basically how society works. <laughs> hmm. The pistol shot the one that's... You can't kill it. I can do 4 to 8 on that. And then some damage. Yes. Wait, that said four of it. I completely misread the. I'm going to do a party heal. Yeah. Because we have one more hit. That doesn't get a go, and it's going to bleed, even if it does get a go. Yeah. No. What? Heal up. Look. I don't have a stress reduction. Uh, skill, so I can't reduce. Um, Jekry's stress at all. Hmm. There's kind no, of a shame. No item you could use to do it. I don't think so. Ooh. Ooh. Plus 10 damage and minus 4 dodge. <clears throat> That'd be good on a tank. Be good for something that already has high dodge as well. Hmm. Like a fucking. <laughs> what is this shit? Plus 10 dodge. That's amazing. Because my HP is so high. Yeah, that's good. That means I've got 15 base, which is amazing. That is good. Well, that's Harry Man for you. Right, let's uh, get shit out of this boss, shall we? Oh, hello. I'm going to have to deal with this. Yeah. We've got um bandage, so we can do that. Before. And there's some food. That's a very strange place to find food, but. Uh, I guess I'll let you off. Right, in for a penny. Did I ever tell you the story about how uh, a friend of mine... Ooh. I do not like the look of that. Um, a friend of mine once gave me a pint of milk. was actually just drinking... Not drinking. Had a pint of milk. Um, I was like, oh, I'm really thirsty. Um, and he just went, oh, you can have this if you want. I was like, oh, that's great. Thanks very much. Opened it. Started drinking it. He went, yeah, I found it on the train. <laughs> great. Thanks for telling me that after I've taken a swig. Now, I, I recall that you don't want to kill this. Because that will send this thing batshit. Unfortunately... Oh, really? You kill the small one, the big one goes loopy. Yeah. So which one's the Swine Prince, then? This is a Swine Prince, because it says Swine Prince when you point at it. And this is Wilbur. <laughs> <laughs> the Swine Prince is aid, I Wasn't guess. that... Wasn't that the name? No, that was Wilson. Never mind. The, the, the volleyball. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Can I stun you? No. I can do a bit of damage. Might as well. I mean, two damage is in 118. It's not a lot of damage. Wow, so that's got even more health than the Shambler thing did. Yes, but it's not constantly creating creatures and causing me a shitload of stress. Yeah. And beating the shit out of me. I should have probably used the Bulwark of Faith, actually. Yeah, but I've got this healer. Yeah, that's true. So all he does is mark people, basically. Right. I think I'm going to use a tracking shot, which is not immediately useful, it's only 3 damage, hmm. but it buffs me sufficiently that I think I'm okay with it for 3 rounds. And I'm just going to keep wailing on the bleeds on this, because it's going to it's going to add up. stack up. That's already 4 damage, that's 12 damage. Right, you keep him alive, hmm. if you don't mind. I will do the prop buff, which I should have started with all the buffs at once, because yeah. um, I kind of knew how this was going to go down. But I suppose I sort of missed out slightly. So can you do a bulwark of faith on other team members? No, you can only do it okay. yourself. But what it doesn't usually show you, um, it tells you where you can do it from and what you can do it to if the target is an enemy, so you can see the red dots. Yeah. But on the bulwark of faith, it only tells you where you can do it from. Oh, so I it doesn't see. actually tell you what the, you know, the friendly target is going to be. Ooh, that was a good one. Okay, so I've got this uh, damage accuracy and crit thing going on. Which is super good. I think I'll just keep this one alive because I'll keep the mark up on this if I can. Yeah. 
Uh, don't want to do that. Yeah, just keep bleeding. So basically, this is going to be hit it, damage it. Seven damage per round, so that's stacking it nicely. Wait, where's my prop? Does that not last more than one round? Maybe. Yeah, one round. Oh, shit. <coughs> Excuse me for squeaking, but I'm getting... I'm upset. <laughs> See, that was only nine damage. So that was worth doing. Yeah, I think you just so keep I... that up. He seems to keep attacking that one in the front. But yeah, it means that the it's literally only ever going to be. Uh, oh, that, that's working damage. perfectly then, because he's tanking all the damage, and the next two in the line are doing all doing the damage. all the damage. Yeah, exactly. Now uh, this one does keep. This will randomly, I think, select the ones to target, but I can always mark myself anyway. Yeah. Uh, I guess just heal. Yeah, it's not actually fully healing me, so unless we get a crit, that's still going to be worth doing. Hmm. Now, I'm not marked at all, but he still has a go. So I'm going to mark myself on purpose. I think this is the right way of doing it. Mm. Rather than trying to get damage out of this unit, we just soak up the damage with that unit. No, 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 you've marked. Ah, that's a problem. Oof. Yeah, I hope Oof. I can crit myself. Yeah, we're already being ended. Oof. I say. Yeah, nice one, I'm marked. Oh, he's quaking in my booty. Look, we're nearly over, to be fair. In all the time we've been talking, this thing's been bleeding like a motherfucker. Mm. Eight damage per round for three rounds, we're at 43. Five is not enough, Ash. So I'll let you off. Because we're not going to get hit this round. We protected ourselves. Ten damage. The first time we got hit there, it was 14 or 17. Mm. Or awful like that. Uh, yeah, just keep doing that. I don't want to do the play grenade because I don't want that thing Is to there happen. a cap to how much bleed will stack? No, except for the fact there's only four units. Oh, it only lasts three rounds, though. Yeah, normally they last three rounds. Although some units have five round bleeds. Okay. But it does say... Six damage per round for three rounds, but then one will come off. Maybe five for three rounds. So it does remember where they came from, if you see what I mean. Hmm. It's going to keep marking myself and hoping for the best. I think you'll be fine. I think we will. Uh oh, <laughs> that's, a, that's an ominous. Oh. So um, we're both marked. So I wonder if it just picks one. Or tries to attack both, maybe. Possibly at both. Yeah, I think you're more. Ooh, Ooh that's what we like to yeah. see. Well, that means we've overhealed ourselves, which is actually kind of nice. It's not ideal, but it's pretty nice. What does overhealing mean? Oh, it just means that I didn't need to heal that much. Oh, right. That's what it was yeah, like it, thing. yeah, I attacked everybody instead of. Well, that's okay. We can probably throw out a. You know what? Get the All kill. in! <laughs> nice. Of course, this thing is not, not dead yet. It can actually hit us. I think that's a stress attack. That's just done. I don't give a shit. Sorry. Good. I would have liked to actually spread that out a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. you do get spread out a bit more. So I want this to happen. Because I don't want to carry on around the... 4 to 6 is not much. I don't want to carry on around the rest of the dungeon, which we intend to do. And die, right? You can still camp that. Yeah, die. Well, I meant with that little HP, but now we've... As victory is nice. Mine, so too Hellion. Resistance. Okay, good. Uh, excuse me? No, I want that. What do? I haven't camped yet. Oh, no. Stack the fucking torches. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, continue adventuring. We will rinse this place dry and we can leave any time without stress because we are heroes and we have succeeded. So I think we go up there, up there, in there and see how we're doing. At some point we can camp. Mm -hmm. Probably when we've beaten these ones up. We might take some stress damage. We will probably take some actual damage. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. I saw there was a trap in there. I forgot about it whilst I was talking. But I remembered this time. I've done that before in the actual uh, <laughs> Just Me play. So we'll beat these ones up, see how much damage we take. Ooh, that's good timing. Because that will give us food. Ah. And we've got the thing for it. Now, what am I going to do here? Start off with open vein on bleed, 20%, bleed, 20%. The Sorry, previous that. rounds, going for bleed on the big guy in the front has been pretty <sighs> nice. It's not going to kill it, but... See, that's a five-round bleed. Yeah. If we had a three-round bleed on it, it would still say five rounds. Why? Because one of the bleeds will last for five rounds. So then it will oh, say... Right, right. So if we had another two for three rounds, it will say, you know, four for five rounds, but then with two rounds left, it'll go down to two. Yeah, I'm with you. So it's slightly misleading, but as long as you're keeping track. Now that might kill it. 
I will kill it. Nope. No, I mean, before it plays because Oh, no, it didn't. That was your minimum roll, you dick. Whatever. Yeah, look at that shit. That's only three. I thought uh, Jekry there did more damage mm. in the bleed. Well, that was a resist. I'm, I'm happy with the resist, but I wasn't paying attention to what we resisted, so... I'm still happy with that. So this is the part where we just get to beat the shit out of stuff, I guess. You can heal you. At some point we have to really attack these, because... Oh yeah, that one at the back does stress stuff, right? Yeah. Oh, it's me. Right. You're definitely dead. Yes. You have no chance. This one can get rid of the oops, excuse me, corpses. Eh, I don't really mind about that. I mean, any stress and HP damage that we take right now, we can probably get rid of most of it by camping anyway. Hmm. You're bleeding. Uh, excuse me. You're bleeding, so stop it. I mean, that could have been better used by disorienting these two, but. Actually, now I think about it, because of what I said about bleeding and cam. Oh, hello. We're over there, are we? Yeah. Well, that's a problem. <laughs> Stumbling back to the front. Mm -hmm. That's fine. I think I have a thing that sends me back one from that position. Right, let's, uh, let's get rid of one of these. Out of it. Not rid of, but take mm -hmm. out the equation for this round. We can also stun this. Thanks High chance. Cool. Get rid of the corpse, bring them to the front. Please let me go first. I guess it doesn't matter because... Yeah, I can. So I can do... Oh, I haven't got it. Because you're in the there's, there's one that will send you backwards. I think it's like a point-blank shot or something. Oh, but right. I can do this from here, so I'm happy with that. Oh, my God. Okay, fine. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. I still bled the corpse, which is... Uh, any... Any... Um, forensic scientist will tell me that happens all the time. <laughs> Swell. I'm a fan. Ooh, a key. Christ, look at all this stuff we've got. Bounty Hunter plus two speed. We didn't get to keep the key, which is a shame. Look, I don't care about this. I'll take this because it's valuable. The key, what do I do? Let's get rid of this. I'm expecting to find a strong box at some point. So we'll put this in here. Sweet. We'll take the... Oh yeah, take both. And then we'll camp. <clears throat> and camping will allow us to have a feast, which will increase health and decrease stress. Look! <laughs> hmm. Alright, that was HP. There's only 10 stress left down, which is not brilliant. So now we get to use these um, extra skills that we have, which are purely for camping time. I don't think this is worth spending any time on healing. Hmm. But I think this stress is probably worth bringing down, because if we can get these units home without needing to put them back into the, uh, the various... <laughs> Uh, very forced ways of de-stressing people. We should do. We can prevent a nighttime ambush, which is nice. It's cost four. I think that's worth doing. Because having a nighttime ambush can the actual ambush can be worse than you. So can they only use one skill each at this time? You've got a t amount of time that it costs you, and then. Oh, I see. So this will reduce stress by fifteen and reduce stress damage. I can't use you unless I can de-stress myself. Unless you can de-stress yourself. Reduce stress by 10, heal 20%. Uh, like, the stress is the only thing worth doing there. One companion heal and... Yeah. Oh, that would have prevented the nighttime ambush as well. But we didn't need the heals, so that's okay. All companions reduce stress. I'll do. Five. Yeah, not religious. Alas. So I'm just going to try and maybe give a pep talk to somebody. Do we have that? No. <laughs> so I can't actually reduce that unit's stress as much as I'd like to, which is a shame. Because you're the only one with pep talk and you can't talk to yourself. <laughs> I could, but it doesn't let you. So that's a self thing. So I think we'll just have to keep that stress damage. Maybe we can um, cause me to crit more and therefore reduce Jekry's stress. Mm. That seems like a good idea. We're not going to get ambushed, so now we just chill out, I guess. Yeah, stop talking. As the light gains okay, good. Purchase, Don't forget to swap your characters back around. Oh, thank you. Alright, where do you... There. Yeah, that's right, it's just that. Alright, so now we'll go back up here. There is a curio on the way, we could get something. Maybe some gold? Sack's contents are mine. Oh yeah, gold. Called it. 
trinkets and I'm hoping to find a chest, which is why I wanted to make room for my key. Right. So I've got these three fucking shovels. <laughs> chest, no, no chest. And then here, there's a battle on the way, so we should make sure our torch is ready for that. More sack contents. No more gold. So, well handsome reward for a task well performed. You open that sack like a fucking champ. <laughs> All right, let's just do the uh, tried and tested. Bleed the shit out of the tanky gun. Tanky gun. Tanky guy. Tanky man. gun. Oh, I could play grenade. It's an first. anime, isn't it? Kind of a fan of that, but no. Whilst this thing isn't taking a turn, beat the shit out of it as <laughs> much as possible. Oh, stun it! Yeah, you're not going to get a go for so much time. These two things can do an amount of damage, but that thing is a bastard. Yeah. Especially with the uh, the move and the debuff and the bleed and the stress attacks that it has. Do you think marking me at this point will make those things shoot me? Maybe. Yeah, probably. Who cares? Kill that. What have you got here? Three damage. So next round you're dead. Oh, Thank you everybody cool. for dodging that. That was pretty cool. Yeah, we all fucking avoided the shit out of that one, which is amazing. You are stunned. Next time you get a go. Not quite dead. So I think we maybe. Mm. Oh, let's do this. Now you're in death range from the bleed. I've got a buff. I've done something useful. Basically, I've killed that, but I've also buffed myself as a result. Mm. Can't hit that, but I can plague them. Also, that thing taking up two spaces now will not leave a corpse. Might as well do this. Oh, it takes up two spaces? Yeah. Ah, I hadn't quite put that together yet. See, that's all that does anyway. No, it's not bad. Oh, there's a debuff, but I don't know what it does. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been hit by that debuff. And if I have, I wasn't really here for it. I'll do this because I want that to die from bleed. Yeah. If it would care to do that now. Oh, you fucking resisted the blight as well, didn't you, you little dick? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's better. Right. Start Just slicing them up. Beat <laughs> the shit out of that, yeah, perfect. That is actually what I said I wanted to happen. Unfortunately, you didn't seem to think that was very impressive and didn't get these stress points. <laughs> so, uh, fuck you, I guess. Stun, perfect. Now. Do you bleed that? Yep. Does the bleed carry on outside of battle? Yes. Okay. Each tile that you walk is one turn in terms of the bleed. Wow. So that can kill you pretty quick if you keep it outside the battle. Yeah, it can stack up pretty horribly. Wow, I managed to keep all of that somehow. You can now got four shovels. <laughs> this is going to sell them back for a few pence. Considering it cost me 250 gold to take them. A few pants. pence. 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 Or pants. Take anything. <laughs> You know, Excuse these me, people are going to need a. Ch oh, for fuck's sake, you definitely <laughs> need, need of some pants. What? Well, Ash now needs new pants because he's got the runs from that. So, yeah, what I'll can ask you me. offer me? What is this? Do? How about this shovel? This is shit. I need to get rid of both of these. It's got the runs. We got the blues on the run. Which one do I like the least? Hook where it hurts is Wait, the only so thing this has ever done to me, so I'm going to. Which one has the runs? The healer. Well, at least you've wearing a dress then. <laughs> It's a cloak. Yeah. Don't even know if it's a it kind of look for you. It does kind of look like it might be trousers under there. Um, like, things don't tend to attack it, so these are not hugely bad. But when things do attack it, that's going to be really bad. Yeah. Uh, you might as well, well... if you keep using your marked thing as the guy in front, that might It doesn't necessarily draw the fire, but it would take... It would certainly remove some of the attacks, but... It's, well, it's aggro, isn't it? Yeah, but whether those attacks are sufficient... Whether the attacks that it tanks are enough. Yeah. This book where it hurts is the only thing it's ever done, according to the skills list. I'm sure it has more than one. Hmm. Right? Swine Slasher. You are three damage and you've got six. So I think I'll have zealous accusation. That's what Northern Line calls a kill plus, although that's not really what I wanted. You do damage to that and, and that, although this one dodged, which is a shame, but... Whole one. Oh, that's a lot of. Well, you'll go in for. That's a lot of stress. I think Jekry is one of the ones that will only go to a certain place. Hmm. I was not allowed to visit the brothel. That's okay. Did I say. Oh, I thought I said Dud Hitler. Dud Hitler. Dud Hitler. Pretty bad Hitler. Kind of looks like Hitler. 
Or at least Goebbels. <laughs> oh, that's exactly what we like to see. I think if you one-shot them, or you crit to kill them, that also doesn't leave a corpse. Because that is apparently what just happened, and I'm going to assume... You just, like, happens. hit them so hard that they disintegrate on <laughs> yeah. the spot. Who's got a bleed on you? You're also going to get a ghost. You're going to have dazzling light. The HP of the rest of the party is not a concern to me right now. No. I wonder if I can zealously accuse this uh, accuse this corpse and this... Yeah, probably. Yeah. Pretty good. So now we've got a corpse there still, but who cares, right? Better than two corpses. Again, as my mm -hmm. football coach used to tell me, <laughs> one corpse is better than two corpses. Yep. It's very reminiscent of Unseen Academical. Just keep doing that. Thank you. I did get a go, but it might get another go, depending on how well this round does. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that was going to be the coup de grace. Coup de grace? Man, that coup was de such a whiff. That was so unsatisfying. I know. <laughs> oh, fucking. There you go. That absence of that sound effect. Right. Can be felled. I don't want to... Oh, I'll tell you what, though. There is an obstacle here. Right. So I will not get rid of the shovels. I'll get rid of this. Take that. I think that'll do. I mean, that seems pretty decent. Especially if we go into a place where we don't expect to be moved around. What's that black spiky box thing? Oh, right. Damage stone. 10 damage, 4 dodge. I think that's worth more than 200. I think selling that will be worth more than selling that. Hmm. So I will discard this. I haven't got anything for that, so I'm not going to risk a disease by opening this table. I'm just going to go and find this battle room here. I'm going to feel slightly vindicated for bringing shovels, even though we did get one shovel <laughs> whilst here anyway, so that was that. And we've got some food. Oh, fuck, now I've got space for yeah. it. I'm glad that I didn't discard that food, because I was I very really tempted think to do this so. this game is like the actual embodiment of Sod's Law. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how they've managed to program Sod's Law into a yeah, video game. AI. That's what I was expecting, a chest. There's always a room with a chest. That may not be true, but there seems to be often. Oh, they heal everybody, why not? Four. That's pretty good for a party heal. Yeah. Web, that means you might get a stun. Yeah, a resisted stun. But with marks, which is not great. I guess we just do a good old fashioned plan A, which involves hitting. Hitting. That is when. Uh, connect and attack. Yes. Just do what Jekry did. <laughs> Numb. Blight. Yeah, see, this is the problem now that we've got the fucking myriad. Oh, yeah. Luckily, Jekry can heal that, but... These things are pretty weak, at least. Yes. Fortunately, <laughs> so is Ash. Hear that, Ash? You weak source. Look at this, fucking two... Oh, it's definitely only two damage per round, so I'm not too... Too concerned? Not too, too concerned. That's another one of them things a Canadian keeps saying. They repeat... Oh, shit. You fucking crit! Whoa! You still got one HP! <gasps> you fucking... Amazeballs. This! has turned out to be one of the worst fights ever. <laughs> right, we'll heal this, cure the bleed, get some HP. Didn't get to death's door, hasn't got the debuff. Please just beat the shit oh, out of so they're at death's door at zero HP. No. Yes. Okay. And then the next hit has a chance to kill, so... We are slightly stronger than everything else in the game. This, three to six, three to six, three to six. Fuck you! <laughs> If I didn't leave corpses, I You can't see that, dear viewers, but Al actually flipped off the screen with both hands. Both hands. Little dance. <laughs> Be wary. Oh, look, a key. There's a key in the fucking <laughs> key room. That's all I care about. Sod's Law, you. the game. E e Darkest Dungeon. Subtitle. Sod's Law. Stuff. Hooray. Now we're leaving. <laughs> End... <laughs> Well, that was really close to losing Ash, well, not necessarily losing Ash, but at least having Ash on death's door mm. would not have been a good thing because both of the afflictions that caused Ash to take that much damage at that time came from that dungeon, Yeah, that, that run. We didn't come in with either of those things, and then we left <laughs> with high chance of blight, and I thought the other one was just horrible. I'm level three now. Bad humours. That seems, that seems bad, but it's not red. Yeah. Oh, it's a disease, obviously. Why haven't you listed your diseases? You have got wasting sickness, which is awful. 
That's fine. I kind of pre I had a premonition about that, obviously. That's that's pretty good. These it will only gamble type things don't bother me too much. Yeah. Usually it's a problem if the the caretaker's hanging out in the place you want them to go. Mm. And considering Jekri is actually quite stressed out, I will send them to Gambling Hall. That's kind of expensive. Can we make that cheaper? I don't know. <laughs> Let's find out. Yes. It's a bit cheaper. And it increases stress recovery on the first. Oh, stop hiccuping. On the first tick. So we should get down to zero on that. Sweet. Do they recover less stress each time they go in there, then? Uh, I think it's just when it's a low level. Um, oh, I see. Like, a low level slot, you don't necessarily recover 100% of the stress you go in with. Right. Well, you don't necessarily recover 100 stress, so you can still be stressed having finished. Hmm. Then you have to go in again, and it costs money. But Jekyll is the only person in for stress relief right now. We've got three level threes. One well on the way, but well, that's Ash actually, so we don't really want Ash. We don't want two of basically the same unit. Is there a way to get rid of those diseases on Ash? Yeah, that's probably something we need to do. Oh, we did get rid of a disease on somebody else recently. Yeah. Which was nice. So, this one was not quite so bad as this one, I think. Because this just caused us to get. Wow, it was only two damage per round. Honestly, I think we get rid of the runs. Why? They're not that expensive, why not just get rid of them both? Because it can only do one a week. Oh. So Ash will be out of action by... For two weeks, getting rid of both of these. Okay. I think this one, with the lack of dodge, and the likelihood to die because of the lack of HP... Yeah. As a result of the blah blah blah... It's just... It's shit. It's horrible. Uh... Right, Ash is being cured, Jack is being cured. It told us that. <laughs> Tim has meditated and recovered a 56 stress. You recall Tim completely flipped yep. out. But only got 56... So now, down to, no. must have lost a little bit, but not down to zero, even though spent a week meditating. The gambling hall has been improved. We've got a uh, level two everyone. Everyone leveled up. That's really good. No one died except for in this week back here. That was successful. Mm -hmm. Not only did we defeat the swine prince, which I kind of forgot about because it was halfway through <laughs> the mission, and advanced the story slightly. Actually the least... Uh, like noteworthy thing that happened in that mission was you beat the swine prince. Yeah. Was yeah. So that was the point of that mission. But we got some cash back to eight thousand. I'm not doing well on cash. <laughs> like I bought three shovels and there was. <laughs> I've taken two shovels <laughs> on a short mission and used them both. Yeah. Or needed a third. Yeah. I've taken three on a long mission or a medium mission and not used any of them. I think you have to just average it out. Like just take two on everything. Maybe. But also, that layout of that thing was just so well connected, you could have gone in any direction. Yeah. Normally, you expect a linear one, so that's a, a very odd RNGesus thing going on there. We can also think about upgrading some of these places. Which is probably where we're going to do stuff. Uh, fucking portraits. We need to do portraits. But we can also do the blacksmith, and the blacksmith will make our weapons sharper. Deeds. Which is cost. We need a lot more of this stuff. So we're just going to have to grind out some runs. Hmm. Uh, which is what we're doing to Ash right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will reduce the cost of the upgrades because we're going to have to grind out some. And see what our options are. Steel. So it used to be that these things were labelled with what you're likely to get from them. Right. Which I mentioned in a previous episode, but I don't think I've uploaded it yet. Uh, but in fact, if you click on them, you see this one, you get portraits. This one you'll get crests. This one you'll get deeds. So we're going to want to do the wheel to get deeds. This used to be labelled here. Right. But now you just have to click around and hope for the best. But it always seems to be the same one. Oh, maybe not, actually. Maybe they've removed that. So now you can get any old stuff. But you can see what you're going to win. So we need to do... Like, five deeds for a medium thing it seems a little shit. <laughs> yeah. To be quite honest with you. Get out of there. So, I think we'll start playing uh, some of the lower level characters. Get them... Get them back in the game, get mm -hmm. Krita and Tim, you know, resurrected. <clears throat> See if their new uh, classes are better than their old classes, because they didn't seem to do very well with their old <laughs> classes. And now we've got an occultist who I'm very looking forward to playing with <sighs> um, in the next episode. So, until then, it's goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from him. Goodbye. Bye. Someone's done that bit before, right? We've ripped that from someone. Came up with it. Really? Oh, well. Wow.